Welcome to the pilot. Um, this is, um, this is the second attempt of trying to make a podcast. When was the last time we did the, the last attempt? I forget. I think, like, a year ago? Something like that? I would say technically a year ago, because it's now 2013. But I'm thinking... Probably, was probably, it, like, late... Yeah, something like that. I don't know. A, a ridiculous... A while ago. Exactly. Oh, I remember. It was before Breakout happened. Because I remember we, on the last one, as we were doing it, there was a Black uh, Phantom review. And we oh, were like, oh my god, Black right. Phantom! Holy crap, it's actually good! I remember that. Oh crap, that really is old. Yeah, wow. <laughs> so, hi! <laughs> How's it going? Uh, this is Shadow Gear, aka Clock Tempest, aka Brendan, and here is my co-host. hey -o. That, that was really awkward. That was terrible. But uh, I yeah, know I'm... there was a bad transition. There. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Um, but yeah, Ben Cossey, Greeble God. I think that's all my names. Yeah, probably. Yeah, all your names. Um, this is meant to just be a pilot of something I want to try and do, and hopefully it works out. Um, if I'm taking some ideas from other podcasts that aren't Lego related, and I think having those methods apply. To a Lego podcast might help. Um, this is not meant to go against other Lego podcasts. It's just the Peace Out podcast or the Three Virtues podcast. This is just like our own little thing that hopefully works out right. Yeah. Cool. Uh, we're going to be starting out with friggin'... I forgot for a moment. What did we get? What did we buy? That one. <laughs> that one. Yes. Thank you. There's no list in front of me, so that works. We should probably um, write a list next time. Probably, probably should have. Pilot. Yeah, yeah. Pilot episodes aren't known for being very good. Although I will say the original Fairly Odd Parents pilot, pretty good. Not seen that, but I'll take your word for it. Better voice work. Oh, okay. But, um, That's good. Uh, we're going to start with Lego stuff we got recently, and then off-topic stuff, like toys in general we got. Yeah. Uh, ben, would you like to go first? Uh, yeah, why not? Um. So I was recently at Brickvention. Um, in Melbourne, I flew there. Uh, but, um, Mark Stafford was there. He's designed heaps of sets, like, I think he designed some Power Miner sets, um... Oh, it, did he? Yeah, yeah. He designed, I know oh. for the one he designed the Crystal King set. I know he designed oh. that. Um, he also designed, like, uh, a lot of sets he's designed, I think. Oh, Space Police, uh, a lot of those sort of space adventure, general, general themes like that. Did um, he design Pimp, like, Brick Daddy? I hope he did. I hope he did. Um, but, um, oh, what was I going to say? Yeah, so he did his whole presentation about how he designed sets, what he does in his job, how he applied for it, all, all sorts of stuff like that. It was really interesting to listen to. Um, and he showed, like, prototype pictures of some of the sets. And the ones he showed, I was like, oh, screw you, Mark. Now I have to buy them. Um, so I did. Uh, although, ironically, I bought those... After I left Brickvention, which was a bit dumb because I could have got him to sign them, but oh well. Um, so I bought, I'm not sure of the names, but uh, I know, oh, I do know this one. Eris's Eagle Fighter, which is really quite cool. It, it actually looks really nice. It looks a bit like a turkey more than an eagle, but eh. Um, <laughs> underneath the legs, there's a couple upside down tiles, I think they're called. Um, they're like little thrusters. Yeah, they're like printed thrust thrusters on them, which is uh, really cool. It, it's cool. I don't know if I'm really going to use them because they got the thrusters on there, but I really like we're getting upside down tiles now. That's really cool. Other thing as well, the the feet had yellow instead of Keith Orange um, Exoforce uh, robot. Yeah, arms I was just going to ask you that. Yeah, the I yeah, think four man. of them, which decent amount is pretty cool. Plus, it also came with those <laughs> new little. Um, it's, like, got a clip, and then there's a, a connection to put, like, a lightsaber rod uh, on the other end. It's a really weird, I... really freaking cool new piece. It's in Is yellow. It durable? Very much so. Uh, the, the, they occasionally, um, like, can come off the little claw, uh, mm. but they're about as durable as the, the hand, the other one that I was just talking about before. Okay, um, cool. But, yeah, I mean, occasionally, like, you know, if you swish it around and, like, land it or something. Not saying I do, but if you did, uh, <laughs> um, <laughs> then um, it occasionally just sort of, like, goes wonky or, or knock off. But it's it's all right. The minifigures in all the Chimer sets that I've got so far are beautiful. The 
back printing and the leg printing is just great. And the fact that they've got a head under their head, headception. Yeah, um, yeah my, the, the attention to detail is so fascinating with this. Yeah, it's it's awesome. And the, the funny thing is, some of the detail they don't even need to bother with. And I love that they do. Um, so I think with that set, you get two of the ravens and an eagle. Uh, mm. And that eagle is Eris, because it's her fighter. Uh, awesome, awesome. The new wing pieces are amazing as well. Um, oh, one thing I didn't quite notice uh, in pictures is the fact that on the back of her wing, uh, mm. like th there's sort of, it's probably not the right word, way to say it, but there's sort of two sides to the wing. Like One side is the, the side you normally see. And then on the mm. back, there's sort of a little tiny notch in one of the bits where the feathers is. It's really doesn't, it's really not that, like it, it doesn't detract from the look, but there is a slight difference. I'm actually staring at that right now. Yeah, it's it's very it's it's fairly slight and it's nothing to get annoyed about, but it's yeah, it's there. Um the other sets I got were it was the cheapest set that comes with the crocodile minifigure, because I kinda wanted to get one of every minifigure of the species. Um it's got lots of olive green on it. Um hmm. uh, it's got heaps of olive green cheese slopes, which I think previously were exclusive to a Lord of the Ring set, which I do have, but um I just Olive green is olive green, so I needed heaps. <laughs> so hmm. I bought it mainly for the olive green and also for the minifigures, um, of which those minifigures are awesome. And olive green, initially I sort of thought, I hope this isn't like the really big boat set, which all of the olive green pieces in that are pretty much useless. And yeah. I was very wrong with that. There's a lot of really good pieces. Probably not oh. that good for Bionicle. I mean, some of the little olive green pieces in there, like the cheese slopes and stuff would be helpful but there's like i think there's a two by four tile in there in olive green which in itself isn't overly helpful with system oh it might be with like a vic viper or a mecha or something but i mm. doubt that that would be that helpful with a bionicle but i don't know people will probably prove me wrong with that um and by probably i mean do it i dare you uh the other do set it. i got was the i think it was was it Wags's truck or something like that? You get two wolves and an, a hawk guy. I'm uh, not interested in that one at all, to be honest. I initially thought that, and then I was like, you know what? I used to, I sort of stopped doing it uh, ages ago, where I, you, you know, when you, like, as a kid or something, you'd see a set and you'd think, holy crap, it looks so cool. And then as you've grown up, you look at it and you're like, why did I buy that? The pieces in that are terrible. I only bought it because it looked good and now I'm just going to destroy it. Well, we were kids for one. I, I know, I know. But uh, I just sort of thought it'd be fun to do that again with this and hope for the best. And to be honest, it was a little better than I thought. There's some nice grey pieces in there, which I'm sure I'm going to use. Uh, one thing I was fairly happy with is on the sides of the wheels, there's dark red or metro red, whatever you want to call it. Uh, dish pieces, the, I think they're the middle, the medium dish. Uh, those are cool, mm -hmm. I'm sure I can use those. A lot of spikes, which is cool. Uh, a new tire design as well, which is... It's alright, it's cool. I mean, I I haven't got any plans of using it, but I guarantee you someone else will. Uh... I think it's not a post, I think it was on Brickset. I think there was a review there of... um. Uh -huh. It's very similar to a very recent Technic tire, except it's a little thicker. All right. I'm not 100% sure on that, but I, I did see that, and I'm like, hmm, okay, a little thicker, a little bit a little different, but it's ultimately just kind of pointless. That's cool. But, uh, no, not cool that it's pointless, but okay. It's cool that, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, but, uh, yeah, it was kind of cool. Plus, there's a printed flag on it, which, good that it wasn't stickered, because mm. stickers, yeah. Um, so that was cool. Um, but the minifigures in that are amazingly amazing. Um. The if paint you... quality on all these minifigures are astounding. Mm, I very say. much so. Yeah. Like on the helmets alone, like there's there's so many different paint applications. I'm blown away by it. Mm, yeah, and also some like weird angles as well that I would I don't know if that would affect the printing of it, but it's still it's it's really cool. Yeah. Um, that's it for Chima sets that I bought. Although I did buy the same one as Brendan, but I'm assuming he's going to be talking about that. Um, which was the really tiny uh, boxed set. Uh, I think it was Razkal's fighter, little I tiny one with purple. So. It's just it, it's like a little it's a little raven condor yeah. thing. We can we can both talk about that right now. Yeah, sure. Um, I, I guess I'll, I'll start with my first opinions of it since yeah, you just went along for the past I think seven minutes at this point. So why not? <laughs> so, um, so it's all quality. It's all good. 
it's 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 fine. Uh, this was the set that made me think, wow, Chima is amazing. I, I bought this on a whim because when I when I picked this up, it was um. This happened to me years ago. I'm going to preface this by saying this. Mm -hmm. um, back when the Star Wars Episode Three Lego sets came out, Walmart dumped them all onto a shelf without putting them in their system yet. And I picked up... Um, you would know this because you're a Star Wars guy. Which, what, what, was, what was the name of the set that had the buzz droid in it? Uh... There were a few that had a few buzz droids, but um... it was like the first one. It was like it was like um it was like a light blue and a dark blue. Oh, uh, separatist tri fighter. Yeah. I'm okay. Yeah, I, it I got of, that. It had lots of sand blue in it as well. Yeah, that's I'm thinking sand blue. Yeah. Okay. But, yeah, um, I'm on the same. Yeah. Yeah. Separatist tri fighter. Picked, yeah. Yeah. I picked that up. I picked up off a shelf, and it was like I think it was like fifteen bucks for store retail, but because it wasn't in their system, they they didn't know how much money it really was. <laughs> so they gave it to me for like three bucks. That is... Oh, that's cool. Screw you for that. So the same situation happened with this, except they paid me retail, which I'm like, oh, great, better technology. <laughs> <laughs> but um, they just dumped them, all the all the Chima shed sets on a shelf without any stickers, nothing. They're all st stacked on top of each other. Which I thought was funny. But um... This is a great set, to be honest. There's one confusing thing about it, and I don't know if you figured out, or maybe you looked more into it because you you met the guy who created the series. Yeah. Um. There's the gimmick where if you put um the little chi blue crystal and you plug that into his butt and you just pull <laughs> it and like you push into this plunger, it pops out. Is there any significance to that? Uh. He never talked about that, and I should have asked him that, because I do think that that's a fairly weird gimmick. Um, well, assuming... I mean, like, the idea of, like, what's the game behind this? Because yeah. I have no idea. Because, I mean, it's a flick-fire missile. Um, uh, but, but it if... comes out of his butt! Yeah, and it's got the chain on it as well, so, like, it can't move. Which is kind of pointless. The thing I sort of think it's for is, like, I'm assuming you meant to buy that and the uh, Eris's Eagle Fighter sort of thing. Yeah. And, yeah. like, it's supposed to, like, fly by it. And the guy inside's like, oh, no, he's not going to shoot at me. It's all good. And the thing comes out of its butt. And because it's got a chain, it, like, just sticks onto it. And I'm assuming it's some sort of, like, boarding device or, like, hmm. pissing off device, probably. Um, so, like, yeah, the chain just sort of, like, latches onto it. And it, it's now a part of the vehicle, some crap like that. I'm, I'm assuming that was it, but I don't know. But what I don't understand is that, in the instructions at least, it tells you to put the crystal on the chain. And I'm assuming everyone wants these chi pieces. So if you're going to put something as valuable as a chi piece on the <laughs> butt of a crow yeah. and launch it out of its butt, you're, you're kind of jeopardizing the whole safety of this thing. That's Yeah, that's very true. I don't know. But yeah, I, the, 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 he, looks, he looks a little stupid, so he probably is. I like the fact that you can... You can give the guy, you can give the minifigure such a big weapon and then take it apart and put it into the vehicle. I, I thought that was clever, yeah. Especially because I remember as a kid when I played with it, with when I played with sets and all that. Um, like, especially with Star Wars sets, I'd have, you know, like Anakin or something with his, Je like his Jedi Starfighter. And mm -hmm. they'd get out, you know, he, 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 you know, I'd have him, like, lightsaber fight. And then he'd get in his ship and fly away. And I'd be like, where do I put the lightsaber? What do I do with this? And I think now they've, they've sort of tried to... They've, they've recognized that. And with that specific set, I would just show, I would just take apart the lightsaber and just jam it in the cockpit with Anakin. That is what I did, yeah. But there were definitely a few yeah. sets where you just couldn't put it anywhere, and it was annoying to oh, have yeah. the loose lightsaber. Um, but uh, I think they've definitely, like for example, in recent Jedi Starfighters, they've done it so that you can attach the lightsaber like to the underneath of the ship. Um, oh. So it's 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 cool that they've sort of recognized that, you know it's possible kids will lose their lightsabers or it, 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 it pisses them off sort of thing. So that, 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 it's good that they've, they've, they've done that. And I, I do agree with you. That is a, a cool, a cool aspect, but yeah, no, it is cool. I like it. I mean, it kind of, I guess it kind of defeats the purpose because with Lego pieces, it's like, Oh, you can just put it anywhere. And now they're telling you where to put it. It, it just seems more like an action figure type of thing that they do with other, like, like, oh, buy, buy the turtle van and put all of the turtle's weapons in the van in this specific spot. I mean, I don't, I, don't, I don't see that as a bad thing, though. I mean, I'm sure maybe some of the more less creative kids may may like that. but And even still, it's not going to stop the really creative kids who will just, I don't know, shove it on the butt-firing missile, maybe. 
I don't know if I built this wrong at all. I don't think I did at all, but I, I'm baffled why this thing comes out of the butt. Yeah, no, you built it, you built it right. It does come out the butt. <laughs> it's, yeah. <laughs> it's going to be a show for, for, for Shima, right? right? Yeah, yeah. And another another sort of general cheesy Lego show, but yeah. Yeah, 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 but it's going to have this vehicle in it, and it's going to explain why it does this. Um... One thing that Mark showed is that often they would do, they'd come up with the vehicle design pretty much fairly rough, and then they'd mm -hmm. send it to the people who were sort of working on the show, and then they would end up doing a thousand times cooler CGI version of it, and they'd be like, is this what you want for the show, sort of roughly? And Mark would be, Mark and the other people would be all like, oh, fuck you, that's so much better than our Lego. And not always, but occasionally they'd tweak it to make it look more like that. But a lot, a lot of the time it was, yeah, no, that's perfect. And there was one funny example where, like, um, they were saying, we're, we're thinking of doing, uh, you know, a city for the lion tribe. Do you have ideas for that? And they do this monkey, motherfucking elaborate, beautiful city with statues that are, like, three times the size of a minifigure and a gate that, you know, would... It's massive and beautiful and nothing that could ever fit into a set in, like, price ranges and all that. And Mark and all the other people sent an email back and they're like, yeah, we can't put that into Lego. Could you maybe, like, do a shot or something that at least shows that it's smaller? So they do a side <laughs> shot and it turns out that this city is supposed to house an entire village, town, city, skyscrapers, all kinds of crap. And they're like, straw! Oh. And then, then he says, yeah, a better picture, please. So they do a night picture, and it doesn't help in the slightest. And <laughs> it was it was funny seeing all that. Uh, but um, uh, where the hell was I going with that? Oh, um, I know for a fact, like, with that, the sets will be different to uh, the, the movie. Another example is the big crocodile boat in the thing. Mm -hmm. They're going to have it so that an entire army with thousands of tanks can fit on that. So it will okay. be different, but I'd imagine the butt firing mechanism would be the same. I guess, maybe. I I just want to confirm it's not just me. It's crazy that, because I I remember when I bought this, I'm like, okay, do you just plug it into his butt and then this little thing flicks out of the bottom of his head? But they're like, oh, you can't do anything with it. So just playing with it, just pushing the red, the red plunger, and it fires out of his butt. I don't. Ugh. Yeah, it is a bit whatever. Weird, but... but um. Good pieces, apparently, according mm. to Ben, um, there are some pieces in here that I thought were brand new, and a lot of them already came out with Technic sets already. <laughs> yeah. Like, there's, a, the, there's like, the, a T-bar, um, um, the little T-bar yeah. things you use for, like, attaching fingers to, to marks. It's that, but it's got uh, one of the cross connections on the end instead of another little, you know, pole sort of tip thing. Um which yeah, that is that has been used in Technic sets before, but never really in, never in never in Hero Factory or Bionicle, and never in oh, oh I wouldn't say never in System. I'm not actually sure of that, but it's good now. I'm trying to figure trying out, why, to figure they're out why they're blue. Yeah, that's it would be a lot better if they were yeah grey or black, but uh, I don't know. I, yeah. I'm sure there's some reason for like like for example with with the the pins that there's a circle and then a cross. How hmm. like if it's if it's tan, it's really flim. It's not flimsy. It, it 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 it's easier to sort of swish things around on it. Where whereas if it where whereas if it's black, it's really firm and and sturdy and all that. Um, so I don't know if the blue's got something to do with that, but there is no other color of it that I know of. I always thought, th I always thought the case with that was from they tried getting younger builders, like especially with Bionicle. Trying to get younger builds to build these big complex sets, so they turned all the um, the two sized axles with the notches. They turned those red because because so kids can find those more easily, and then they started changing the pins to blue, so kids can build them a lot more easily. And I thought like, oh, we cool, we get pieces in blue. That's great. You're gonna, they're gonna make more black, right? Yeah, right? Uh, they never did. Never did. So I think it's, it's strictly a kid issue, but. But if these pieces, because I have no idea if these blue pieces came out the same color in other Technic sets, or they made them specifically for this line of Shima. Mm. I'm, I'm pretty sure in, like, the Unimog, it was blue, I think. Could be wrong. I'm, I'm, sh I'm pretty sure I'm right. I don't know. Hmm. Not, that I'm, not, that but, I'm, uh, not that I'm always right. I'm wrong a lot, so I, I'm probably... I don't well, know. Uh, but, I uh, would give you a rating of being wrong. I'd say... Two times out of seven. 
Out of seven. Out of seven. <laughs> All right. <laughs> well, okay. <laughs> you, you can you can just blame bad improv on that. <laughs> All right. Um. <laughs> um. But yeah, I don't know. Maybe it's something with the plastic quality that it has to be blue. I don't know. There's probably there's there's probably some reason. I know Mark often said that there were like people would ask him questions and he just couldn't answer them for like legal issues and stuff. And he said pretty much yeah. every problem that that there is for Lego, there is a reason behind it, but it's a secret. Which is possibly his way of saying I don't know, uh, and I don't want to tell you, or so just dancing around the question. Yeah, all that. So yeah, I don't know, but uh, there's there's probably a reason that it that it's it's blue instead of another color. But I don't know. But um, that's all I really have to say about it. Um, the new wing pieces are pretty cool. Some new recolored, uh, some nice new printed pieces. Minifigures are amazing. If you're gonna buy these things, buy it for the minifigures alone. And if you're cheap, buy the poly bags because those are just as good. Hmm. Um, quick thing before we round off, I also got a massive haul at Brickbench, and, like, I got the Minecraft set, oh, yeah, yeah. I got... Go, talk about that, man. Do it. I, oh, okay, sure. Uh, I also <laughs> won an award there for a thing I displayed. There's probably going to be a link to that on my what? Flickr in the description. Yes, put it in. Um, uh, so I won Best Under 16 with a person who's also on Flickr called E.B. Dot dot. He, mm -hmm. he, he puts the dots, so whatever. Um, we did a, a cool castle, medieval, fantasy sort of landscape. Cool. Oh, it's just the thing. one you've been talking about for a while. Yeah, yeah, that one. Oh, okay. But um, yeah, people, people. It, it was really cool to see all the people's you know reactions and like we had this this one mother who was with their kid and and she was like, "Did you guys build this?" And I was like, "Yeah." And she was like, "Whoa!" And it, it was like the guy next to me. He said, "It's always the coolest thing when you can make adults scream like children when they see something cool." And uh, it, it was it was it was cool to 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 be there and to have like Mark Stafford come and, and talk and yeah every everything was it, it was really fun. Um, so yeah, I won the award and as a result of that, I won a free set, which was the biggest game set, which in itself isn't a good set, but I'm not going to complain. It's free mm. set, so um, plus there were competitions and uh, you know I got free stuff from that. And it was funny because the competitions, even if you didn't win, you pretty much got a Lego set anyway, which is awesome. So, um, I think one of my favorite challenges is where you have to build a set inside a bag. Yeah, they had that. They because they gave us a goodie bag and there's a little panda poly bag, which mm. um, they it, it's funny because because like you really can't see in the poly bags because it's the packaging. Uh, no, more yeah. more box art or then more poly bag art, I guess whatever. Um, so they just took it out and put it in like a Ziploc bag, and um, we built it in that. And it was funny because everyone who was there, you know, got that, but no one actually. But uh, there were I think there were only five winners. Um, and they got a, a free set uh, for winning, but it was it was cool that all the challenges were just ridiculous with uh, their giving away of, of stuff. Um, plus, there was a lot of really cheap like minifigures and all that. It was it was like Bricklink but in person, which was awesome. So yeah, Minecraft set that. Uh, I got some of those Olympic minifigures, and by some I mean all of them, um, because those look awesome. I'm hoping we get some Are for the next cool Olympics. Are they as cool as normal? Uh, sorry, um, I didn't mean to interrupt you, but are they as cool as the normal uh, minifigure collection? Definitely, yeah. The one thing that slightly annoyed me, and this is just my, yeah, my OCD, why not? Um, for lack of a better term. Um, one of them had back printing and none of the others did. And I was like, Phew. but uh, not that that's a massive complaint, but it was just sort of like, why do you tease us with one back printing and none of the others are? One of the things as well Which that was really cool. Oh, it was the karate martial arts one. The, she was. Hmm. It was a girl with like a you know general white martial arts clothes, black belt, all that. Um, okay. But one thing that I thought was really cool is you get a horse rider girl, and her hairpiece is a hmm. friend's hairpiece, which I thought was cool. Oh. Yeah, I because I thought there was a, a redo, and then I saw it and I was like, oh wow, that's that's interesting. Um, and yeah, that was really cool. Plus they all come with little gold medals, which is which is cool. But um, I don't think they're actually based off any actual athletes. Because I don't know if they probably... There's hmm. probably lawsuits with that. I don't know. But um, they all look really cool. And, and, and it's fairly, fairly accurate as well, which is awesome. Um, I wish they did more themed ones. Yeah, that's definitely true. Although I know like they couldn't do any licensed themed stuff. Like people on like Kuso, all the little kids are like, do a, do a superhero or do a Star Wars one. Um, that was meant to be a little crappy kitty accent, but it sounded fairly terrible. Um, but I'm really content with like being like make it like creator, where it's like, oh, here's like a robot theme, or here's like oh, yeah. um, a car theme, or I don't, a car theme, car minifigure cars. Yeah, <laughs> I mean that would be cool. I, I, although I'd imagine that one reason they haven't done that is if 
there's there's probably be a f you know like a fairly large percentage of kids who are like oh, I don't like that you know like for for example there's probably that one kid who's like oh my god in the latest series there's a Caesar minifigure I love Caesar I want to buy one and then they spend they get nothing but cops yeah yeah <laughs> <laughs> and then they spend like a hundred dollars looking for Caesar and then eventually find it and they're like Fuck! but um yeah is not that the way the um the new case breaks down to the new um series nine where there's like 10 cops in that one yeah that yeah one i think cops are like the most common and i think the there's like the maiden it sort sort of looks like an elf but it doesn't have elf ears but it's yeah like the maiden with a bow and really cool dress and all that she there's like two of her in there and there's also rumors and i want to say rumors but i don't as well because it's somewhat confirmed someone who was at some mm. one one of those toy fairs where there's you're not allowed to take pictures but they've they show the 2013 stuff there's supposedly rumors that in the next series of collectible minifigures number 10, and I'm assuming it's because it's the 10th, that there's mm -hmm. there's supposed to be some... It, the, the color of it's going to be gold, because we've had silver, now we have gold. And there's supposed to be rumors that there's supposed to be a, a far rarer minifigure in there. Oh yeah, I saw that. Yeah, and it's like supposed to be... I, I don't know if it's going to be like kind of like the golden C-3PO thing, like a so, probably not a solid gold yeah. or like a chrome gold, but some sort of special minifigure. And there's there've been a bit of discussion about it, like... Is it going to be the 16th minifigure and that there's just sort of one in every box? Or is it going to be the 16th, but there's, you know, one in every two boxes? Or I think I saw a thing where it's only going to be like 150 made international. Oh, that pisses me off. Because I I have every single minifigure from every single series, and I'm going to want one. And it's going to be like $300, and then, yeah. Oh, that annoys me. But I'm fair. I mean, I'm fair. You're going to buy it. Yeah, I'm, I know you are. Yeah. <laughs> yeah that was uh i've got a, i've got a sad story about that the um i don't know if any of you know the i'm sure brendan might put a link but um there's a poly bag of a shirtless darth maul minifigure and it oh, came yeah, out you told me about that came, yeah it came out roughly around the time that they reintroduced darth maul in the clone wars animated series and i had like a massive nerd boner from um from when that happened and uh, I, I, I saw that, and I was like, yeah, kind of need one. But at the time, they were like 150 bucks, and I'm like, mm, I'm going to wait for this till they, they go down in price. And eventually they went... I think it went... was... Um... Yeah. Sorry. Yeah, go ahead. I think it was... Um... Was it a New York Toy Fair or a San Diego Comic-Con exclusive? Yeah, I think it was New York Toy Fair. It was it was an exclusive at one point, but now they, okay. they're they handing them out willy-nilly, which is annoying. But um, eventually, while they were still somewhat exclusive, one went down to about, I think it was $48. And I was like, oh, it's cheap. It's $100 off. Oh, my God, I'm buying it. It's, just, it's never going to be this cheap again. And now they go for about $8. <laughs> and, yeah, so that pisses me off. I, I think I was, I was mildly happy. There was one at Brickvention for 25 bucks, And I was like, yes, not that bad. But um, that really peeved me off. <laughs> but um, I, have, I have better news. My Golden C-3PO minifigure that I bought, I got for $80. And they go for a 300 now. Like, $80 is ridiculous. But for the fact that there's only ten thousand, which look, that's still a massive number, but whatever. It's fairly cheap for a three hundred dollar minifigure, I think. So I'm I'm fairly happy about that. And here I am being so cheap not to buy a, a thirty dollar trans yellow cow cow. <laughs> but I'm I'm I get a bit too into my Lego, yeah, maybe, <laughs> maybe, maybe. But, um, uh, whatever. So what else? What else did you pick up? Um, Minecraft said, I think I said that three times now. Mm -hmm. Um, <laughs> I, they were selling all of the individual Series 9 minifigures individually for five bucks opened, which is pretty much the same price they are here, but mm -hmm. I didn't get, I, I got a few that I knew I'd be buying duplicates of anyway, but I deliberately didn't buy any just because I have so much fun feeling them in the bag, and I would rather spend more money doing that even though they were pretty much the same price actually i think they were cheaper but uh, whatever I'd, I'd far rather fill them in the bag um but i got a few duplicates of them like i got a few of the like space orc evil version of the space marine from i think series seven he, he's, he's the battle mech him yeah him and the um the one with like it's it's light gray armor and like a lime sort of star trek looking face he, he looks cool um so I got a few. I got a few of the really cool ones. Um, I got Orc Forge, the uh, limited edition uh, Lord of the Rings set, which is oh. really cool. Um, it's also got a light brick, which I love me my light bricks, so that's cool. Uh, mm. 
got other stuff. What else did I get? Oh, they had because when you when you signed up, you got a little brick badge that said um, Brick Convention 2013, and you had to say what you wanted for your name. And I just put Ben Cossey because you know I, I could have put my real name, but I prefer Cossey. Next year I might. Um, mm. And I so I got that. And there were also, they had a vendor that was, there's a company called Inside the Brick, free advertising, um, but it was called Inside <laughs> the Brick, and for eight bucks, you could buy pre-printed bricks that said stuff on it. And you can, oh. go, you can go on their website and, and ask them for pretty much whatever, and they'll print it. Um, I don't know how much shipping is, because it's an Australian company, so I don't know about that. Um, but yeah, eight bucks for anything you want printed on their website, and eight bucks for the stuff they were selling there. So like, they were selling... Um, you know, like Stacy, Ben, Bob, all sorts of names pre-printed for random people coming in. But they had a few really cool ones. Like one was Brick Miner and had some creepers from Minecraft on there. I bought one of those. Um, That's cute. Yeah. Uh, my favorite that I bought, it was instead of Gangnam Style, Gandalf Style. A you know, little Gandalf doing <laughs> Gangnam Style was awesome. Uh, so I bought one of those. Um, and I got one that said Fellowship of the Brick, which is a super secret clan that me and a few people are in. But, uh... <laughs> Super Secret Covenant will say nothing. Oh. Well, it's not secret if you just mentioned the existence of the group. Ah, oh, but you heard nothing. And so did the rest of the internet. Yeah, yep, yeah. yeah. True. <laughs> but um, it, it's really just a Flickr group where we, we people talk, so it's, it's nothing that special, but whatever. <laughs> um, I got other stuff, but I can't remember. Oh, Citizen Brick, you know, one of the, the third-party companies like, like Brick Arms and Brick Forge. They do a lot of oh, yeah. printing on stuff, like they do these little babies, which are really cute, so I got, I think, four of them, and I got some signs like Police Line Don't Cross, and Caution, and Danger, and all sorts of cool stuff like that, which was cool. They also had a few heads, like they had a, a sad face head, which they was never really done, they had a dead head, and a head that's been beaten to death. Really, Ooh. actually somewhat graphic heads, but um, they were cool, and they were. I, I'm glad I picked up some of those, so I'm happy about that. Um, Take one of those heads and put it in one of the Shima helmets. That would look cool, actually. Hmm. <laughs> um, actually, yeah, that'd be cool. Uh, I probably got more, but it's on the other side of my garage and I can't see. So, uh, but yeah, that's pretty much it. Is that all? Yeah, that I know of. And here I am, pale in comparison. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I picked up I picked up three small things. Uh, one of which being um the Raven Glider thing that we've already talked about. Another picking up for a nominal. Five dollar clearance, uh, Sebulba's Pod Racer Planet set from Series One. Hmm, that's cool. That, that is wow. That, that's, that's worth, worth it for five bucks. bucks. Definitely. There's a few pieces in there in orange. I I want to say the clips, the one by one, uh, plates. Yeah, with the there, clips. There, there's a few in there. Plus, I don't know if they're tiles or if they're plates, but they're also one by ones. No, they're tiles. In orange, they come in like two sets, which is weird because they're just one of those things you think is still really common and just isn't. And that's about the cheapest yeah. and easiest to get set that comes with them. Um, and I picked it up just because it's got some nice pieces, a really cool minifigure, and yeah. But um, there's actually some decent pieces in that set, so that's, that's a really good deal. I was debating on, because I, I don't want to take it apart yet, but until then I want to take um, some flexi lightsaber tubes, like two black ones, and kind of connect um, the... the um, I lo I lost my train of thought. <laughs> connect the driver the driver block with the actual engines. Ah right, to yeah. Instead of using the stand. Mm. Yeah. If you if you're hearing noises from me, that's because I'm eating my breakfast. Oh, then do um, that. Just saying, but uh, yeah. But um, I've, I've, I've I've very off topic there. But um, that would be cool though. Yeah. <laughs> um and. I one day um it was someday last week where I, I went out to lunch with a friend during in between college classes and we we popped in at Target mm -hmm. and for five bucks I see the Joker oh oh and I bought I bought like the, the Joker Hero Factory esque things so I'm like oh five bucks hell yeah I'm picking it up for five bucks because nice. you know purple mm. but I haven't opened him yet technically yeah um I I I couldn't leave it in my friend's car so i need to take it out of the box and put the bags in my um school bag oh uh, right so it's in my school bag and it's been there for a week ah okay and i haven't touched them since huh <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh well i think what I, I guess I'm, i might as well oh did i interrupt did i interrupt, did I I was, interrupt you i was just I'm gonna sorry. say i think we're done with what we've bought aren't we or are we gonna well, do no. the off topic no we you are wrong sir 
We're going to talk about the stuff we got off topic. Ah. Other various toys. This is where I'm going to shine. Yes. To a point. Yeah. Um, starting I'll ju- I'll, out. Um, I'll just I'll just quickly start because I've I've got none. All nigger. <laughs> yeah. This is where I start. Yeah. <laughs> this is my section. <laughs> Don't you dare interrupt me. But yeah, go ahead. <laughs> um, I'm going to make it like a two week cut off. Of, You're going to um... take two weeks to no, say I... it. I'm kidding. I'm oh, kidding. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. <laughs> but yeah, go ahead. Uh, recently got SH Figure Arts Gokai Silver. Which is it's um from the Sentai series Gokaiger. Um he's a fan he's basically the dude has a dream of wanting to become a superhero, so three of the past Power Rangers pretty much make him a superhero that's, in the sixth ranger of the best Sentai team ever. That's that's nice. And he's the ultimate fanboy. And he all he does is all he does is scream. <laughs> And I, I love it. <laughs> he, he comes with a, a lot of cool accessories. I'm assuming there's going to be a link to, to this below, right? Yeah, everything we talk about will have links to what they are. Good, good. So you can check that out. Uh, I'll have a review for him up soon. Um, oh, good. The non-LEGO reviews don't get that many views, so I'm kind of waiting for more of a fan base. I don't know. That's cool. Um, also picked up, because um, this, this is part of like the HLJ New Year's... Um, sale. Also picked up Phone Braver Boost Medic, which is essentially a little cell phone that transforms into a, a little robot. And he's that's cool. actually really um, cool. Yeah. He he's supposed to disassemble and combine to a transforming cell phone, which is essentially just a flip. It's a flip up cell phone with arms and legs, and it faces the LCD screen. It's from the series Phone Braver 7, and it, it, it's weird. I don't want to watch it, but I thought it was like, hey, here's a little toy for like five bucks, yeah. and it's on clearance, so I'm going to pick it up. Hmm. Um, Looking around, seeing what else I picked up. I currently... I'm still flicking a butt missile over here. <laughs> <laughs> um, If I had to go back a little farther... um, This is like a little after post-Christmas. Um, pick, Picked up... Because I, I, I did pick up um, a few Gundams, Master Grade, um, Zagok, and Kotobukiya Metabi. All right. Which some people have seen in videos already. But, but um, that that's it so far. I have some stuff on in my private warehouse waiting to be shipped when I get some money because my birthday is coming up. Yay. So looking forward to that. That's yeah. all I have really going on. So that ends the the what we got, mm-hmm. and a very lengthy one from Ben. Maybe I feel I I feel belittled quite a bit. You got you got lots to listen to in the podcast. Yeah, isn't, isn't that what you want? So far. Isn't that what you want? I don't know. Well, there's probably going to hey, be those people know. who are like, don't... this is like a twenty minute long video. I'm not watching that. That's like ages. <laughs> it's like I don't like a time. No, ain't no one got time for this. Yeah. <laughs> but um, if you did think that and I've offended you, then screw you. That's my opinion. But, His uh, opinion, yeah, you know, yeah. Fr- free form, no script. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. But if, if if you do There's... think that it's a bit long, let us know. We'll try and try and fix that. But I mean, if if one I... person says that, we're not really going to put much effort into it. But if like twenty do, then 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 we will. But uh, <laughs> we'll stop rambling and, and um, uh, take a quick break and go to the next section. Yes, the next section, which will be what mocks we've been looking at recently, and we'll pick out our favorite ones from the week. Oh yeah. So uh, we'll see you guys then. Ciao. <laughs> here's you. Here's you. All right. Here's you. Let me. Get that. I'm gonna do an impression of you. All right. Here's you. Choo choo. Choo choo. Chicka 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 chicka. Ah! <laughs> Millions are dead. Are you calling me a train wreck? <laughs> Is that? I was more implying that you're derailing. <laughs> We're back. And we lied. Um, we, we tried doing the section of our favorite mock, and it turns out that Ben wasn't recording. I'm smart. Very smart. <laughs> um, <laughs> so I, I made the executive decision to keep it just as the what we got for this part, because it's a, it's a, it's a lengthy little section alone. Yeah. And I figured it's going to give us an idea of how the, the, the show is going to be structured. So, we're gonna we're gonna stop for now, 
and it's like 40 minutes a little over 40 minutes yeah so but i, I mean we'll i think so far what we've got is good and probably next time we'll do a proper sort of you know rough format yeah uh, like well, like we said we were going to do um and not go so far off topic top that topic but seriously cannot talk um but uh <laughs> yeah so we'll, we'll post that um let us know if you want to see anything in it, I guess, or if you didn't like something, or even if you really did like it. And um, but yeah, um, and, and you know if you have any will... recommendations, oh, oh no, go ahead. <laughs> Whatever. That's um, a habit. We gotta stop. We gotta we gotta break that habit because it's, it's yeah. poor podcast material. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry, um, I'm from New Jersey. Everyone interrupts everyone. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you watch what we're gonna do. We'll figure it out, and we'll just both stop. We'll be like, oh, he's talking, I'll stop, and we'll both do that. And then we'll be like, oh, no one's talking. So I'll go, and then it'll just be an endless circle. That works. I'm just saying, if you guys yeah. have any ideas of how the, you want the show to be structured, or like any, you know, throw, throw some ideas out there. We'll, we'll see We'll see what people say. Yeah. Um. One other thing as well. When are we posting the next one, Brendan? Or would it just sort of be um, whenever? I think... Because our schedules, like I... Currently, I'm a college student, and Ben, I'm sure you're busy as you as as ever. I'm actually Ooh, on holidays, but in two days, I'm not. So, well, I'm a dick. <laughs> you're just an uneducated <laughs> dick. I don't know, but yeah. <laughs> um, so, don't know when we're gonna post the next episode. I guess it mm. mostly depends on the feedback from this one. But we we'll we'll play it by ear, and we'll see how things go. Yeah. I mean, what, roughly right. a month-ish, maybe? Yeah, probably? at the most, at the most, it'll be a month from now. Mm. Also, I hope to get this up by tomorrow. If you're wondering, this is being recorded on February 2nd. Yeah. Well, for me, for Ben, it's February it's, 3rd. Yeah. Yeah. He's in Time future. travel. Hey, Mr. Doctor, can you take me in your TARDIS? Maybe. Take me in your TARDIS. No, right, well, um, we shall leave. I'm taking Brendis to my TARDIS. My Brent Brendis. Brendis. Yeah. I'm taking Clockwork Tempest to my TARDIS. I will be the best companion the Doctor has ever had.